it's never the same. It's always changing. And you're in charge of the kayak, but you can never predict what the water's going to do or what the other, other factors can bring to it. What motivates me is the enjoyment I get out of racing and training combined. I mean, I was always the sporty kid in school. I always did every sport. I always tried. I always tried something, even if I didn't know I was going to like it. I was sort of better to have a go than to be disappointed I didn't. I didn't enjoy it to start with. As I got better, I started to enjoy it more. And I enjoyed the training more. And so it just kind of led to I trained more and I got better. And, in the cycle. So I started kayaking in 2009. I went straight into slalom, which is a very competitive discipline of kayaking. It's not very recreational. It's very, I say, goal orientated and performance orientated. The first summer I started paddling, the aim was to compete in the River Festival at Thandersill. And so from the start, we had an aim to do well in the competition and it kind of went from there. And I suppose that's always been part of the drive alongside just enjoying the sport with the training is that you've always had that aim to perform. I train quite a bit. It's an odd one in that it's kind of a, it's not an endurance sport, but it's not necessarily a full out sprint either. You've got a very big technical element to it. And so I'd normally train two to three times a day, six days a week, I'd give myself a rest day because I used to not rest, it didn't go well. So my training usually consists of quite a lot of technical work. So I'll do a lot on gates on white water. Um, which means that we just basically practice difficult moves, easy moves and just getting used to being able to deal with what's thrown at you because you never know, you never get to practice a course before you race therefore you need to be confident that you can deliver what's set in front of you um, and then there's also, a, you obviously can't get on the water all the time especially living in Pembrokeshire, the nearest river to me is for 50 minute drive so a lot of mine is on land training a lot of gym work, a lot of running, a lot of climbing and other, other types of activity just to keep me fit and strong. I always try and plan my sessions so that I know what's coming up and just try and do it in a way that you know that there's going to be a reward at the end of it. And there's no point doing something if you're not going to, if you're not going to have fun and yeah, enjoy it along the way. Once you've finished, there's nothing that beats the feeling of finishing a session, especially when you don't like it. I think it's easy to go out and do the sessions you like, and so the sessions you don't like are the ones that make it really worth it. And that, overall, you see probably the most improvement in the areas that you're not best at. And so you probably get more enjoyment out of that than you do anything else. It's definitely not been an easy road. <laughs> it's definitely been a lot of hard work and hours put in. You cannot just be a good athlete. You have to work to get there.